Okay, so we are here bare face and we are going to analyze my skin just a little bit so we know what I'm working with. So I say this in just about every foundation review. I have acne scars, not so much active acne. I don't really have new breakouts. My skin feels really smooth and soft. It's just all of this that's happening. They're just scars that I'm working on getting rid of. But as far as packaging, it's their standard NARS packaging, just black and white, very sleek and simple. And on the side of the box, first off, I'm the shade medium 3.5. I'm going to put the name somewhere here or in the description box because I don't know how to pronounce it. And this is their Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. On the side of the box, it says, Meet NARS, NARS's first longwear foundation that looks stronger, stays longer with skin recognition pigments for the truest color match and 16 hours of wear. I don't know if I'm wear it for 16 hours, but we're gonna wear it for a few hours and see if it holds up within those hours. Featuring NARS's Skin Optimizing Complex, Raspberry Apple and Watermelon Extracts, for smoother, healthier looking skin. For use, shake well, apply a small amount, starting in the center of the face and blend outwards. It's a glass bottle and it's completely see-through. Let me go ahead and go on the NARS website to see what they say. When I do my foundation reviews, I go on the actual website for whoever I'm reviewing. So if I'm reviewing, let's say I'm reviewing Maybelline, I don't go to the Target website and read the description. I go to the Maybelline website and read the description from there just because I want to make sure I'm giving you like accurate information and what it says on their website. So on the NARS Cosmetics website, it retails for $49, which is pretty standard. At Sephora, it's also the same price. It says it's a uniquely lightweight foundation that provides 16 hours of fade resistant wear with full powdered radiant. Oh no, sorry, full powered, not powdered, full powered radiance. There's long wear and then there's strong wear. Introducing NARS's first 16 hour foundation that stays turned on by the power of radiance. Untraceable, unstoppable, unlike anything else, long wear is finally lightweight and radiant. High coverage is now super natural. Based on what I'm reading so far is full coverage but it has a natural finish meaning that it's not super matte and it's not super dewy i'm getting more of like a natural radiant vibe reading the description specialized skin matching technology ensures your truest match yet your future looks radiant with natural radiant long wear foundation natural radiant finish transfer resistant sweat resistant fade resistant non-drying so you can see they claim a lot of things they claim long wear longevity it's not going to look super matte it's not going to look extremely dewy it's just going to give you a glow from within look but it's going to give you a lot of coverage and it's supposed to somehow adjust so that it matches your skin perfectly we're gonna we're gonna see if all that is true in today's wear test and everything. Let's go ahead and apply the foundation because I've been talking too much already. We'll do a sponge first and I think this has, yeah, this has a pump. There you go. I'm going to apply some on the back of my hand and then work it onto my skin. So I have about that much on my hand and it feels pretty, it's not super liquidy but it's not too thick either. You can see it's slowly starting to run down my, my hand there. First, topping it in the center of my face. And you can kind of see there the color, how it's starting to look on my skin. I do feel like it's giving me pretty good coverage. I don't think it's accentuating my pores, but it's not blurring them either. My pores are just kind of there. So I moved up a little closer here so we can get a better feel for the foundation, but I ended up applying about a pump more to the back of my hand because it for this area, it basically took up the rest of the foundation that I had. So we're going to continue on. I would say it's about a medium buildable coverage because I can still see a little bit of scars going on here. Let's go ahead and do this side with the brush. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I've been loving this for foundation lately. Before I do though, look at how this dried on my hands even it's still it still needs to dry right here 
but all around especially like right here it dried down to a pretty matte finish i don't know if it's just me i'm getting more of demi matte semi matte feels you know so that's what it dried down to uh, yeah you can see the shade it's okay i could have maybe gone a shade lighter but we gonna work with it like we always do so i'm going to do two small pumps on the back of my hand let's see Ooh, putting it on initially you get that super super intense coverage but once we blend it out it looks it looks a little more like a medium my pores my pores don't look bad it's not like this helps to minimize pores or anything but it, it didn't enhance my pores either i think it looks nice and airbrush but I you know what I'm really liking the finish I'm liking the finish I'm liking the coverage it doesn't look dry flaky anywhere and I've had I've been getting dry patches here and there for some reason this is not accentuating any of those dry patches whatsoever so what I'm going to do is apply the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'm going to come back so we can do the flash photo talk a little bit more about what i feel and what i see from the foundation after i apply the rest of my makeup and yeah i'll be right back to show you what it looks like okay so i'm back my makeup's done it's hard for me to show you the time because i'm recording my audio on my phone right now but it's currently 1 13 p.m let me put this down okay it's currently 1 13 p.m and i didn't just finish my makeup i finished my makeup around let's say 12 15 and I curled my hair, Amazon got here, I had packages and so it's been about an hour that I've been wearing my makeup. So this is how my makeup looks after applying it and I really like the way that it turned out. I was kind of looking in the mirror while I was doing my hair and I was like, I don't know if I like the look of it or if I don't. On camera, of course, it looks bomb. In person, um, it does look good as well, but I can't, it's, I can't really decide if I like the initial finish of it now that I'm done with my makeup. I feel like I need to spray some Fix Plus or a setting spray on top, but I feel like if I do that, it's gonna look like oily and I don't want that. But then I feel like it can add, it can have like a little something something to it. You can see just a little bit more radiance on my forehead, a little bit more radiance around this area. So if I do put a setting spray on top, it is gonna make me look a little bit more glowy which for today i'm not trying to do that because it's really really hot out today i still think the foundation has amazing coverage it really does it covered everything but you can still see you can't see my skin peeking through but it still can pass as almost a skin like product because it doesn't look super thick on my skin you can still kind of see my scars peeking through and my skin I guess you can say my skin is kind of peeking through it but it still gives really really good coverage this might just be one of those foundations that wears a lot better the more and the longer that you wear the foundation I think they claim that so we're gonna see right now I do like it I'm not like Oh my goodness, I love this foundation. It's going to be my new every day. But I do like it. For right now, that's how I feel. I'm still kind of teeter-tottering, trying to decide. But I'm going to wear for the rest of the day. I am planning on running some errands and I'm going to be outside. And it's pretty warm outside and it's a little warm in here as well. So we'll be able to see how long this foundation really does last. With all of that, my lip color really quick is this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the color Driver. I'm going to get a few questions on that. And I lined it with MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. Let's take a flash photo and wear this foundation all day so we can see whether I end up liking it or not. I just want to say this Maybelline lipstick is hard to touch up. Like my lips are already looking rough midday check-in so right now it's 4 54 p.m the last time i was on camera it was about one o'clock but when i finished my makeup it was about 12 15 so right now it's been almost five hours since i've been wearing this foundation i feel almost as if it oxidized a bit it did look a little bit darker when i initially applied it but now after wearing it for about five hours it's almost I feel like it got a little bit darker don't you guys think this is going to be a good summer shade for me but right now i'm gonna have to like mix it or maybe get a lighter shade 
Um, as for the foundation itself, like what I think about it, I do like it, but I don't, I don't see me wearing this like in a hot summer day at all. Today it's about 83 degrees or it was 83 degrees and my skin is already starting to look a little bit oily around this area. Not anything unbearable, but also just the look of the foundation. Like a lot of my texture in this area is starting to really stand out but it didn't look that way when i first applied the foundation so i'm just kind of like what is going on in my skin um, and i didn't apply any products that i've never used before with my other foundations i i did everything that i normally do the only new thing i tried was an eyebrow product that's it that's obviously not going to affect my foundation so midday thoughts it's a good foundation initial application it looks good for for me, it looked good the first maybe like two hours, then it started to get a little bit oily. It's still completely there. All the foundation that I first put on is still there. I still have the same coverage. It's still very even. It's not breaking up anywhere either. It's just getting a little tiny bit oily. What I'm going to do is I have some tissue here and I'm going to blot to see if it looks any better and if it's just like a good foundation for maybe every day if you're willing to blot or if you're willing to to touch up for me it's like once my makeup is on at the beginning of the day like however it looks throughout the day that's how it's gonna stay like I don't carry powder with me I don't carry tissue like it is what it is for me but if you are the type of person that blots or touches up let me at least show you what that would look like so taking off any oil from my chin you can see that got pretty matte let's do it here okay after blotting it looks good it looks as good as when I first applied it. Cause look at this side and I didn't apply highlight today. That's another thing to know. I did not put highlight anywhere on my face. So this glow that you're getting is all the foundation, but it's not as oily as I've gotten from other foundations. I've done first impressions where my face at the end of the day, it looks like I literally like put water on my face. That's how oily it gets. But this, it's not bad. You can easily fix this by blotting. As you can see so after blotting I think we're doing good here this is a foundation that I think I would wear on an everyday basis and not mind blotting with it because I really actually like the way that this looks after blotting I think it looks fresh it still has that glow when I first applied it like it's not matte it's not dewy but it has that semi matte finish it didn't take away any coverage from me blotting even though you can see how much foundation came off on the tissue so that's my midday check-in i am going to check back in in a few hours right now it's now 5 p.m so i'm gonna check in at the end of the day just to see how it held up after blotting okay it's 8 18 p.m now and this is what my face is looking like after about eight hours of wearing the foundation fully with like all my makeup and everything it's gotten oily all around this area a little bit like around here and it was also getting quite oily above my eyebrows as far as my chin and stuff it's not really breaking out too much but now you can see the little texture I was talking about so especially around my cheeks it's all in this area that the texture is just it's pretty out there I was gonna wear the foundation a little bit longer but I'm gonna work out in a little bit and there's no point in me going to work out and then coming back to show you what it looks like after working out because that's not what I usually do with foundation usually I don't really wear foundation if I'm gonna work out so I'm gonna take this off in a little bit but I wanted to come back to at least show you what this looked like after about eight hours of wear so based on what they claim for the foundation they say it's a 16 hour wear foundation but if you have skin like me and you're looking for a foundation that's going to be really matte and long lasting this is not the one it is long lasting i will give it that because it is still completely all on my face but as far as keeping the finish like that debbie matte semi matte finish i was getting previously it doesn't do that it's more of a dewy and it gets pretty oily looking on my skin because i do have more oily skin as i did mention previously though this is a good like everyday foundation because it's lightweight i do see myself wearing this still with more of a mattifying powder on top 
and then just blotting throughout the day because I did like the finish of it I like the coverage I like the way that it lasted on my face and the way that it did look with the initial application but I wouldn't really wear this for like a long day oh my gosh Chris yes oh whoa so people. what do you guys think what do you guys think should you keep the beard so those are all of my thoughts on the new NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions about the foundation, about this product, let me know down below in the comment section and I will definitely get back to you. And make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I post foundation reviews like this all the time and I'm also doing a new oily skin series here on my channel. So if you don't want to miss out on that and you have oily skin, even if you don't have oily skin, just subscribe. And that's it. I love you guys, let's get on mucho, and I'll see you all in my next video.